Consistency. Today was good. Today was fun. Tomorrow is another one. Dr. Seuss. If you want to maximize your results, make your daily actions consistent with your goals. This might seem obvious, but I am still astonished by the number of people who will plan their goals with tremendous energy and enthusiasm and then go about their daily lives doing exactly everything but their goal-oriented activities. A few weeks down the road, these same people wonder why they haven't made better progress towards their goals. Consistency is the steady level of achievement or effect over a period of time or being in a state of compatibility or agreement with something. Remember that habit replacement therapy emphasizes action and process. From now on, be aware of your actions and whether or not they support your goals and your mission in life. The more your thoughts and behaviors are in tune with the things that you want to accomplish, the more progress you will make towards the results you desire. There's an additional positive side effect that comes from having your daily actions consistent with your goals. You feel great about yourself. This alone will have a significant impact on your life because when you feel good about yourself, especially while you are actively learning or improving a skill or habit, your confidence and momentum gets an extra boost. It's like money in the bank for your energy level. Your brain picks up on that feel-good message and responds by creating a framework of neural connections that support all those great success messages. Over time, you will have a positive feedback loop that will refine your focus and drive you forward towards your goals. As you experience more progress and more success, you'll continue to feel great and will be better able to maintain momentum. And this positive cycle keeps repeating itself. Wow, you're getting pretty good at this. Athletes have long known about the big payoff that comes when their daily actions are consistent with their goals. The most successful athletes have developed strategies that either maximize the advantages of their strengths or take what others have judged to be a disadvantage and turn it on its head. Either way, the result is a win. The real stories of two well-known athletes are great examples of these strategies and actions. Bumblebees and Flipper Feet Michael Phelps Olympic gold medalist and record-smashing swimmer Michael Phelps is a veteran athlete at the ripe old age of 28. Phelps has won more medals, an incredible 22 out of 24 races, more than any other Olympic competitor in any sport. Phelps has maximized his natural strength and follows a rigorous practice schedule when training for a race. His arm span is that of a person three inches taller. His knees are double-jointed, and this one is impressive. He can rotate his size 14 feet a full 15 degrees more than the average person. A physical feature that Phelps has learned to use like he would a pair of scuba flippers, pushing off the wall to cover nearly half the length of the pool using only his feet. Tom Brady When the New England Patriots drafted Tom Brady more than a decade ago, it caused a stir in the NFL. Here was this round six player whose statistics had some people wondering how the Patriots could show such an apparent lapse in judgment. Tom Brady does not look like a winner on paper. Neither do bumblebees. It's true. Bumblebees look bad on paper from a statistical perspective. They ought to be gathering nectar on foot, but there they are, buzzing around the garden like a slap in the face of nature. It's astonishing, really. Now, I'm not going to try to convince you that Tom Brady can fly, of course, but the math tells us he is a terrible football player. But get him on the playing field, and he's off the hook. Why? One answer is that those bad stats are only one-dimensional measurements. But this is one half of the story. Brady knows the numbers, but he sees beyond them, pointing out that stats are no substitute for commitment or competitiveness, two unbeatable qualities that put him far ahead of the game. Brady and Phelps are highly successful in their careers. Brady's ability to transcend the disadvantages shown in his paper stats, and Phelps, the ability to take advantage of his unique physical characteristics, demonstrate two different strategies for success in action. Both strategies can be applied outside of sports, and anyone can build their own positive feedback loop to achieve success for any goal in any field. So far, we have focused on positive habits and measuring success. Have you ever thought about measuring life? In fact, the area of life that has the greatest importance are unmeasurable. If you were able to weigh a person who has just died five minutes before and again five minutes after death, the two weights would be pretty much the same. What then does life weigh? We can agree for the sake of argument that life is a force 
or the energy that keeps your heart beating. And this, in turn, is the source of energy that flows through your body and keeps you alive. But what exactly is this force? Who knows? It's one of life's mysteries that can only mean one thing. Each of us has exactly the same amount as everyone else. You are either alive or not. It doesn't matter where you are, where you've been, or even how you got here. As long as you have a pulse, you have the ability to create major changes in your life. Human beings are masters of change and adaptability. Our rise to the top of Earth's food chain and our survivability that has far exceeded all other species that have ever lived on this planet, ever, is proof that even you can change. Congratulations. Look, if you had one shot, one opportunity to seize everything you ever wanted, one moment, would you capture it or would you just let it slip through your fingers? Eminem. I love these words and here's why. You will have several opportunities to do something you have always wanted to do. You can fail and fail and fail again. But as long as you keep getting up and trying, that moment of opportunity will come again. Break off the rearview mirrors of your life. You spend more than enough time on the what ifs and the if only I hads. Stop it. Don't look back. Look forward. The only requirement for membership in the Goal Achievers Club is to have a pulse and the right attitude. Maxwell's Art of Failing Forward John Maxwell, in his book Attitude 101, describes a mindset he calls failing forward. Every year, a ceramic teacher begins a semester by dividing her class into two random groups. Students sitting on the left side of the classroom are told that they will be graded according to the amount of work they produced, while the students sitting on the right side are told their grades will be based on the quality of their work. How could she determine students' grades in an equitable manner? She uses a surprisingly simple method. For the students on the left, she brought in a scale and weighed each student's work. An A grade will be given for 50 pounds of work, a B for 40 pounds, a C for 30 pounds. The students who were graded on quality, however, had one project assigned. To make a single ceramic pot as perfectly as possible to receive an A. When the semester ended and it was time to grade the students, the results were not what she expected. The group who produced the highest quality work turned out to be the same group who were graded only on quantity. These were the students on the left. But why? Because while the quality group sat around theorizing about how to produce perfection in order to gain an A, and with little to show for it at semester's end, the quantity group was busy making pots, one after another after another. Each time they churned out a pot, they learned from their mistakes, and they kept getting better and faster at making pots. It doesn't make any difference whether you are in school, at work, playing a sport, or in a relationship. One of the most important things that you can do to reach your goals and achieve your dreams is to consistently practice the necessary skills every day. And don't be afraid to fail early and often. The best time to make mistakes is when you first start learning something new. This is a great time to practice being fearless with failure. Sarah Blakely, one of the first female self-made billionaires and the creator of Spanx, a brand of women's shapewear, has said that growing up, her father would encourage her to fail, asking her to tell him what she had failed at that week. This may seem like an odd thing for a parent to ask. Blakely explains that her father's intent was not to emphasize failure. It was really about the failure to try. 